Hey, what's going on? Alex Lott with LAG Tactical here. We get asked a lot of questions about our various belt attachment options, and we wanted to do a quick video kind of detailing all the different options that we have, as well as how to install them and some of the benefits of each one. Uh, yeah, so we'll explain that. We'll explain how to put them on and off to the holsters. If you have any questions at all, reach out as well as let us know which belt attachment option you prefer and why you prefer that. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you. So the last one we'll talk about is our MCS line or our modular carry line. Um, these spread a wide array of different carriers, mag carriers uh, for pistol and rifle, as well as like handcuff, flashlight carriers, tourniquet carriers, stuff like that. Um, these have a number of different belt attachment options. Um, standard, like you're getting from the store in the box with an inch and three quarter hard clip. We do also have an inch and a half option if you prefer, if you're running a little bit smaller belt. Um, so that's gonna be the most popular and what you'll see in the stores. Uh, the other one that we see a lot is our X lock. Um, this one's going to be very similar to the older tech locks like people are used to. Um, has a number of different mounting holes on the back, makes it, uh, gives it the ability to mount to a bunch of different stuff. But uh, what this does is it's going to provide your most secure fit. We see this a lot on duty belts, law enforcement guys, military guys running this. Um, it's going to snap on, hold on extremely tight, as well as have a secondary locking mechanism down here that there's no way that's going to come off your belt no matter how much you're rolling on the ground or roughing around won't have any issues there. Uh, that one's really popular. The next one's very similar, but is a cool one we picked up in the last couple months. This one we call the Molly Lock. Um, so what's cool about this is it's just like the Tech Lock, has a really nice locking feature, but it's much thinner. Really good for uh, installing on some of the mag carriers, some of the smaller carriers that we offer. Really nice, and then it slides through your Molly loop, Molly webbing really easy, really quickly. Super nice option there. And lastly, this is going to be mostly for the competition guys, although we do see some law enforcement guys running this. This is the Safari Land ELS fork and receiver. It's just a smaller version of the QLS here. One will be attached uh, to your belt, the receiver, and then you also have your fork, which will be attached to the mag carrier. Um, so what's nice about this is you can have this attached to your belt and you can slide your mag carrier on and off quite nicely. It slides right back and forth pretty quickly. So that's a good option there. What's, uh, what's nice about our MCS line is they're all pre-drilled to fit all of these attachments. So um, you know, once you have a mag carrier, you can switch back and forth depending on your use. And uh, yeah, it makes it super versatile for you. And so after that, we'll, uh, we'll go on to how to actually attach some of these belt attachments and make it a little bit easier for you. Moving on to the MCS line, uh, we'll start by installing the Malice clips. Um, these are kind of your Molly compatible belt clip option there. What you'll do is you'll take that post as before, and you're gonna wanna run it through that top center hole. Put that rubber, or the rubber washer on top, that'll hold that in place nicely. Take the other post, run it in the bottom. You kind of balance it on your finger a little bit. Place it just like that, and we'll take that mal the uh, malice clip or the molly attachment. Place it right on top, get those lined up, and we'll run that truss head screw in the top. Pinch that down nicely, we'll pivot this over. So this other guy here, cinch that down. That nice and tight. Uh, you will see that there are a couple extra holes here that you can adjust some of the mounting uh, or the right height on that. As well as the center screw um, or center hole, you're more than welcome to add an extra set of hardware in there. Not necessary, two usually is plenty strong enough. And then, yeah, you'll be ready to mount that right onto your Molly webbing. Next for the MCS, we'll talk about both the uh, X lock and the Molly lock. Options here, uh, very similar to the tech lock, tech lock options that you'll see. Uh, so what you want to do is you'll take your MCS, grab your short post, run it into that top hole there. Your flat rubber washer will hold that post in place. Take the other post you got there, balance it, put it in that bottom hole, hold it in place with that rubber washer. We'll take our X lock here, open it up, position it right on top of that MCS mag carrier, take a truss head, zip that guy right in there, do the same up top, 
Pinch that down, and you're good to go. Um, something to note is that there is an extra mounting hole, kind of like the mouse foot. You're more than welcome to use that, but you definitely do not need to. It's plenty strong as this. And also, we have that Molly lock, like we mentioned. Uh, the installation process is exactly the same, just a little different uh, style. Nice about these is they're much thinner, so make them a little bit more compatible in some of the tighter spots on the, your Molly webbing. But yeah, installation is exactly the same. You're good to go. So the last one for the MCS we'll talk about is the uh, competition belt attachment option. Sometimes law enforcement guys use them too. But this is the ELS system, fork and receiver. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to pop that fork out of the receiver, set that off to the side. And then you'll take a, the post that comes with it. You'll run it into that top hole of the MCS line. And you're gonna take this side here, the one that's uh, bubbled out, put it on top, line it up run the truss head through it, cinch that down, and then you'll do the exact same thing to the bottom. Get it in there, hold it in place. Then you'll grab your other truss head screw there, cinch it down. This one also provides some cant adjustability so you can kind of position it how you'd like. Get it cinched down nice and tight there. And then just for assurance, you're more than welcome to take the, uh, the receiver, make sure it slides in there nice and tight. 